from the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 530 starts right now. Good evening. It's Wednesday, July 29th, 2015. I'm Ann Gownley. A Freeland man was killed in a motorcycle accident near Whitehaven last night. State police in Hazleton say 31-year-old Noel Little was headed east on Route 940 on a 2001 Suzuki motorcycle east on State Route 940 at a high rate of speed. 68-year-old Stephen Pompello was turning off 940 onto Lehigh Gorge Road and the two collided. Little's motorcycle hit the passenger side of Pompello's Ford Escape. Little was thrown about 50 feet. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The occupants of the SUV were not injured. One person was taken to the hospital after being hit by a car in McAdoo this afternoon. A person that was on a bike collided with this car around 3.30 today at the intersection of Adams Street and Hancock Street in McAdoo. The driver of the car hit the biker and then hit a fence at the Adams Street playground. McAdoo police are investigating this crash. The person on the bike was taken by ambulance to an area hospital. The condition of the biker is unknown at this time. Former Hazleton City Council candidate Ignacio Iggy Beato has been named a person of interest in a real estate fraud case. State police say he is suspected of conducting numerous fraudulent real estate transactions in the region. He's alleged to have accepted deposits, fees, and in some cases, the full purchase price for numerous properties, then kept the money. State police say claims against him go back to February of last year. The homes in question were either in foreclosure or owned by HUD and subject to irregular monitoring. At this point, Beato has not been charged with anything. The manager of the towing firm, which as suspended by Hazleton Police Department over Facebook comments, is appealing to court. Cynthia DeLuca, manager of DeLuca's Auto Repair and Towing, filed a petition July 9th in county court. She contends her firm was denied due to process when HPD issued suspension notices on June 9th and June 17th. The firm was one of four at tow on rotation for the city. The petition charges the suspension violates DeLuca's constitutional rights of political speech, activity, and affliction. It does not ask for monetary damages. The city will present its side of the argument in court on August 17th. City Police Chief Frank D'Andrea alleges that a Facebook posting under DeLuca's personal account accused Mayor Joe Yanuzzi with being criminal and accepting bribes. Eight days later, he issued a detailed reason for the three-year suspension, saying DeLuca had, quote, accused the Hazleton Police Department, the mayor, Frank Vito, and I of being corrupt, accepting bribes, and improperly discriminating against your towing company, unquote. DeLuca says he accept the account was hacked. The controversy resurfaced this week when his council had on its agenda for a special meeting resolution asking that DeLuca be added back to the towing rotation. Hazleton police are looking for a hit and run car. A silver Nissan hit three parked cars near the intersection of 4th and McKinley streets on the northwest side just after 11 o'clock last night. The driver took off. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Hazleton Police Department at 570-459-4940. Hazleton police are investigating a burglary that happened Tuesday morning. Someone managed to get into a home on Manhattan Court. That's between Laurel and Wyoming streets, between Diamond Avenue and 5th Street, and stole a flat screen television. Anyone with information is asked to contact city police at 570-459-4940 or dial 911. A Hazleton man will spend the next 10 to 23 months behind bars at the Luzerne County Prison on heroin charges. 22-year-old Eric Feliz pled guilty back in June before Judge Fred Parentoni to two counts of possession with intent to deliver heroin. According to police, Feliz was pulled over for a traffic violation and nearly colliding with a police cruiser. Several packets of heroin were found on his person and he was placed under arrest. Feliz will also serve two years probation following his release from prison. Once again, there will be no swimming at a local state park beach. The State Department of Conservation and Natural Resources closed Beltsville State Park Beach this morning because of bacterial counts and water samples taken from the lake on Monday. According to DCNR, the beach will remain closed until acceptable water samples are received. There are no signs posted at the beach. However, there are signs posted at the beach. However, other activities such as fishing and boating are allowed on that lake. 
more requirements for land developers in Luzerne County. County Council voted to change the land development plan requiring new developments to have bike paths, sidewalks, and requiring developers to contact LCTA about bus service. The new rules apply only to the developments of 10 or more lots and only in the 28 municipalities which don't have their own land development plan. Municipalities in which the new rules apply are up on your screen now. The move was highly controversial with council, getting a lot of negative feedback on the proposal during the public hearing it held. Councilman Rick Williams pushed the idea, saying it would raise the bar. The Walmart Supercenter in Wilkesbury Township will end its 24-hour operations. But Supercenters in Hazel Township and Pittston Township will still be open all night. The Arkansas-based giant realtor made the announcement Tuesday afternoon. It said the decision was made after studying shoppers' pattern. It also closing overnight is the Walmart in Mount Pocono. It and the Wilkesbury store will close at midnight and reopen at 6 a.m. There was a fire at Penn State's main campus last night. The accidental fire was contained to a first floor room for graduate students in the Hammond building. The building that's home to the College of Engineering is closed today while the damage is cleaned up. The Center Daily Files Times reports flames were shooting seen out were seen shooting out of a classroom window at the fire's height. It's the second incident on the Penn State's campus this week. A section of plaster fell from the ceiling in the Schwab Auditorium during a program for prospective engineering students on Monday. There were about 500 people in the auditorium at the time. There were no reports of injuries. Jolly Joe has died. The Polka King, as he was known, had been playing polka music for decades. His full name was Joseph Timmer. His long resume includes a popular TV show in the Lehigh Valley, the longtime ownership of WGPA Radio in Bethlehem, and several appearances at Bethlehem's Music Fest, the final one coming last year. He had been suffering from dementia. Jolly Joe was 85 years old. Time now for a first look at our forecast, another scorcher for our area, but what can we expect for the rest of the week? Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic in the Weather Center with all the details. Joe? Definitely was a very hot one across our area today. We're going to get a little bit of relief from the heat tomorrow with some showers and thunderstorms, but right now it is quiet throughout the state of Pennsylvania, our region has seen nothing, no relief from the heat. We just had to deal with the heat and humidity throughout the daytime hours of today. Plenty of heat throughout much of the nation. Once again today, these are high temperatures over the past 24 hours. Locally, statewide, if you will, notice temperatures getting up into the 90s and upper 80s. And right now, temperature-wise, still very hot. 86 in New Angola, as well as Berwick. 90 in Bloomsburg and 91 degrees in Danville. We'll talk about those showers and storms as we head into tomorrow and what we can expect this weekend. We'll talk all about the weather once again coming up in just a few. And Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, we'll hear from Berwick's police chief on what many in the borough are calling a major problem, meth and amphetamines. Plus, not sure what some of those items up in your attic are worth? Well, many found out this afternoon at Antique Expo at Heritage Hill in Weatherly. That and much more coming up here on WYLN. Stay tuned. You're watching WYLN News, Greater Hazleton's only local news broadcast with Ann Gownley, Gary Perna, Julie Stefanovich, Kristen Bozinski, Weather with Joe Garbacic, and Sports with Eric DeBerardinas and Gabriella Justin. For all your projects, large and small, Bedrock Gardens has it all. They are fully stocked and ready to fill your order. Rubber mulch and rubber curbing to match. Lots of color choices to pick from. Wall stone, natural stone, full pallets ready to go. Their bins are full with rich colored quality mulch that will look wonderful all season long. Finish off your fabulous outdoor space with their quality patio furniture and easy to assemble fire pits. Everything you need for your summer projects. Delivery available or just stop by and they will load you up. Bedrock Gardens, locally owned and operated. Call today. Welcome to Leaf and Ladle. Leaf and Ladle, located at 59 South Mountain Boulevard in Mountaintop, serves fresh and delicious salads, sandwiches, and soups. Come by for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They're open weekdays from 9 a.m. until 8 p.m., Saturdays 10 a.m. until 8 p.m., and Sundays 11 until 3. Delivery and catering are also available. Call them at 570-474-9200. Leaf and Ladle, eat healthy, live happy. 
SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim Ductless Heating and Cooling System. Mr. Slim Systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money-saving technology can save you 25 to 50 percent on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialists, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. In 2014, Columbia County was listed number one with the highest number of meth-related incidents in Pennsylvania. Today, WYLN visited Columbia County and spoke with Berwick's police chief about the county being number one in meth-related incidents and what they're doing to combat the issue. Over the past three years, police in Berwick busted 36 methamphetamine labs, 81 people were arrested, and 428 charges were filed. In 2014, Columbia County was listed as the highest county in the state with meth-related incidents, according to the Pennsylvania State Police. Berwick Police Chief Ken Strish says there's no doubt there's a lot of meth-related incidents in the borough. However, they're doing all they can to help combat the issue. And tr truly, I can indicate that the methamphetamine, unfortunately, uh, seems to be on the rise in regards to methamphetamine manufacturing, uh, arrests, as well as uh, dumps. In 2012, 25 labs were found, 45 people were arrested, and 190 charges were filed by police. In 2013, Strish said there was a dramatic decrease with seven meth labs found, 21 people arrested, and 128 charges filed. In 2014, Berwick had its lowest number yet, with four labs, 21 people arrested, and 110 charges filed. But thus far in 2015, the meth problem isn't continuing its decline in Berwick. But unfortunately, uh, this year we're back on the rise. We're already, um, to the current day, uh, up to eight laboratories, 23 people, and 102 charges. So, uh, you know, surely in Berwick, uh, the numbers are back on the rise. So what is the reasoning for the increase after three years? It comes down to we were very fortunate um, with the Attorney General's Office to get OCDEF funding um, back in 2012 to combat methamphetamine. Um, in 2013 and 14, those funding, the funding continued and allowed us in Berwick specifically extra manpower, extra resources available to supplement our uh, resources to combat the drugs. Um, most recently, we were fortunate enough to, through the Attorney General's Office, uh, secure OCDA funding for heroin as well. Uh, what we see the trend most recently is that people are actually manufacturing methamphetamine in support of their heroin addiction. Meth is not only a danger to those who use the drug, but it is severely dangerous to those living around active meth labs. It's extremely volatile. Uh, the myth when this first came to our area was that these are meth lab explosions. And we've had fires based on um, a meth labs uh, catching fire. Um, these one pots catching fire. It's ultimately just a chemical reaction that happens, but the result is a very strong and quick growing chemical fire. So it's very, very uh, swiftly moving through the residence or the vehicle. Uh, again, a lot of people are making it now in vehicles to try to elude um, neighbors calling on them, um, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, for them making the methamphetamine at home. Chief Stress explained what to look for if you believe someone is making methamphetamines. And if you see anything, you are asked to report it to the police immediately. Outside of Berwick, people can just uh, report what they find. If it's suspicious to them, most likely it's going to be suspicious to the police investigators as well. Uh, some of the signs of uh, what neighbors will see at, at a suspected meth lab would be frequent visitors coming at many different hours throughout the day and night, staying uh, for short periods of time, uh, an increase in trash, uh, an increase in tra uh, an increase in trash that involves chemicals because uh, again methamphetamine is made with you know common household chemicals um, strange odors coming from the uh, from the residents uh, and of course a dramatic change in appearance uh, of the persons that are your neighbors or their uh, or their behaviorisms again meth is a stimulant a very strong stimulant and uh, certainly their behavior as well as their appearance will change and I think neighbors will notice that to report incidents of possible active or inactive meth labs in Berwick, you may call police at 570-752-3677 or dial 911. You can also email tips at tips at berwick-pa.com. 
Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic is back with a full look at our forecast. Plus, Heritage Hill Senior Community hosted an antique appraisal expo this afternoon. Find out how much some of the items were worth. That and much more, including sports, here on WYLN. Stay tuned. The Brass Buckle in Cunningham features a wide variety of Tex-Mex and modern Mexican food. Dine inside or outside on their beautiful patio. They also offer a private banquet room with seating up to 110 people. The Brass Buckle, 334 Main Street in Cunningham. Call 570-788-4145. Hazel Drugs does more than fill prescriptions. They know your needs and have been serving the Hazelton area since 1868. That's over 147 years. They accept all prescription insurances, offer convenient parking, drive through service, and free prescription delivery. They carry the highest quality vitamins and supplements with a certified clinical nutritionist on staff to answer your questions. They can customize your prescriptions, specializing in natural hormones, children's compounding, and animal medications. Hazel Drugs, America's oldest compounding pharmacy and Hazelton's oldest business. Let their family take care of your family. Did you know that suicide rates are on the rise in Luzerne and Wyoming counties? Did you know that over 100 Americans commit suicide every day? And did you know that you can help prevent suicide? I'm Jeffrey Wan. I'm here to tell you there is help. If you or someone you know is depressed, dial 800-273-TALK or the emergency helpline at 211. For more information and suicide prevention tips, visit any of these websites. Together, we can save lives. At Whitetail Preserve, they pride themselves with giving their guests five-star service. They're now open for lunch six days a week and offer limited delivery service for lunch to businesses in Cunningham, Valmont, and Humboldt Industrial Park. Call them at 570-384-2314. Definitely very hot, very humid across all of northeastern and central Pennsylvania today, getting up into the 90s in most areas, some of the higher elevations, mid to upper 80s, but with the humidity levels on the increase today, it definitely felt that it was a couple of degrees hotter than what the actual air temperature indicates. Even looking overhead, tell you what, I just don't see any clouds, just a few high, thin cirrus clouds. That's about it. Plenty of sunshine and a very, very muggy night tonight. Here's a look at the map for today, and we did not see any relief from the heat today. We dealt with the heat, we dealt with the humidity, but we didn't have to deal with any kind of showers or thunderstorms. Now tomorrow, that's gonna be a different day, and it's gonna be a different weather day, because we're gonna be looking at the chance of some rain, some showers and thunderstorms developing, especially during the afternoon hours. Nothing to show you on radar, we continue to remain dry. Temperature-wise, 88 degrees, but when you walk outside, those dew point numbers in the 60s, it's feeling like temperatures are in the lower 90s. 90 now, Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, 85 in Mount Pocono, 91 in Philly, 90 in Williamsport, 84 in State College, and 91 in Pittsburgh. Holding in the 90s up in the Wyoming Valley area, and again, no relief from the heat across our area. Some showers and storms toward the south. The leading edge of some more showers and storms out toward the west, out in the Ohio Valley region. And we're going to see some of those showers and storms come through as we progress through tomorrow. Probably uh, they should hold off until the afternoon hours maybe early to mid-afternoon. Uh, that's when we'll start to see a couple of those showers and storms coming into our area. Temperature-wise tonight, it's gonna continue to stay very, very warm. Uh, tomorrow, we should still be up into the 80s and then uh, maybe some upper 50s and lower 60s as we head into tomorrow night early on our Friday morning. So tomorrow, not gonna be as hot as what we saw today, but still very warm. And we'll get a little bit of relief and some showers and storms coming through as a boundary comes through, a frontal boundary. And then uh, it's going to at least drop some of those humidity levels. But temperature-wise, still looking pretty nice. In the 80s, we should be uh, right through the next seven days. 83 for tomorrow, 82 looking good for Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. And then uh, maybe the middle part of next week, we may have to deal with another shower or storm. Our daytime Pennsylvania lottery numbers the pick 241, the pick 3933, the pick 42170. And the pick 5 number 79348. The treasure hunt numbers 125, 20, and 30. Don't change the channel because we'll continue to have more for you coming up after these commercial messages. 
All Care Home Care, the health care that you need in the comfort and privacy of your own home. At All Care Home Care, our caring and compassionate staff of skilled nurses, occupational speech, physical therapists, dietitian, social worker, and home health aides will give you the professional care you need. Call 459-3002. With All Care Home Care, you will feel so much better and be able to do so much more. Remember, it's still your choice. For your care, call us and we'll be there. Family owned and operated, the experienced professionals at Lehigh Tire have served the residents of the greater Hazleton area for over 55 years. From our full line of passenger, light truck and commercial tires, to our automotive services including tune-ups, inspections, oil changes and alignments. Every time I've ever done business here, they've, they've been very polite, straightforward, and the job gets done quickly and right. Find the right tire for the right price today at Lehigh Tire. Go hog wild for Iron Pigs Baseball. WILN is televising the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs Live, America's favorite pastime on your local network, WILN TV 35. See the Major League Stars of tomorrow at Coca-Cola Park. Don't miss any of the games here on WILN TV 35. Visit WILNTV.com for a complete Iron Pig schedule. Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs on WILN, your home for live sports. Today, residents from Heritage Hill and members of the community had some antiques appraised by an auctioneer. This is the third time for the event at the Senior Community in Weatherly, and Marketing Director Lisa Marie Halecki said the residents enjoyed seeing how much items were worth. Well, actually, what we're doing is having an appraisal. Uh, we have Traver's Auctioneer House from Dallas, PA. They just came in to meet with a lot of people from the outside community as well as our residents. And what they're doing is appraising these amazing objects. And, and some of the things I'm sure you're going to show are some things that people may have seen or have never seen before. And they're going to allow people to kind of get a, an, an idea of what the value of them all are. So so it's really, really neat to see. Steve Triver was the auctioneer today and says they saw some great items. Rush McCoy cookie jar, a lot, some jewelry. A lady had some nice, some fine jewelry. Bernie, my associate auctioneer, just got excited about a uh, uh, Civil War era presentation sword that was brought in. Uh, so far, miscellaneous items. Some, some quite valuable, some not nearly as valuable. This was just one of many events that Heritage Hill puts on every year to get the residents and the community together. Coming up next, Eric DiBardinas is in with sports here on WYLN. Plus, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacek will have one final look at our forecast. Stay tuned. During these changing times, is your insurance program up to date? I'm local Allstate agent Gary McNeilis. I invite you to come into our office or give us a call. We'll help you be sure that you have the proper coverage to take care of all your family's needs at a price you can afford. Now more than ever, you need to be in good hands to protect everything that's important to you. Our team of insurance professionals and I will be honored to serve you. Are you in good hands? starting August 5th at 11.30 p.m. only on WYLN. Teams have undoubtedly been calling the Yankees about top prospect Aaron Judge, who is currently manning the outfield and cleanup spot for the Rail Riders. Those inquiries undoubtedly met with no's, either politely or impolitely, depending on GM Brian Cashman's mood. Last night explained why. Rail Riders hosting the Iron Pigs, Lehigh Valley's Cord Phelps connects to center and drives in the game's first run in the first. But then it's Judge doing work. Be prepared for a six foot seven man to enter your screen. There he is. He can cover some serious ground at 275 pounds. Then with a stick, warning track, and Judge is in for the double. Then number 99 nearly goes yard again. 
Judge getting friendly with the warning track, and it's another double for him. So, Jose Perella, two batters later, brings him in. The Pigs are waiting to pick it up. They're waiting for it to go foul. It doesn't, and Scranton Wilkesbury picks up the 5-3 victory, snapping a four-game losing streak to Lehigh Valley. Tonight, the teams travel south to Allentown for a two-game set in Lehigh Valley. Top prospect pitching, Luis Severino, looks to move on to 7-0 on the season, opposing Sean Sullivan. Sean O'Sullivan on the mound with a win. The Rail Riders would even the 2015 Iron Rail Series at six games apiece. You can watch this big matchup right here on WYLN beginning at 7 p.m. And in the majors, the Phillies traded closer Jonathan Papelbon on Tuesday, and starter Cole Hamels could be next to go. Tonight, the Phillies will face Troy Tulowitzki in his Blue Jay debut at 7.07 in Toronto. The Yankees, probably the most prolific franchise in all the sports, but rarely see nights like last night. New York exploded for 21 runs, including an 11-run second inning en route to crushing the Rangers. They'll be happy with half or a third of that performance tonight. And today, the second game for Nanticoke in the Legion Pennsylvania State Tournament. Nanticoke defeated Downingtown 5-3 yesterday and advanced in the winner's bracket to play Hellertown this afternoon. Tune in later for a final score from that one. Next, Joe Garbacic is in with a final look at the forecast. The Hazleton Wine and Beer Festival will be held Saturday, August 15th from 4 until 8 p.m. at the Best Western Genetti Inn and Suites in Hazleton. Come sample over 50 local wines and craft beers, taste some great food, and listen to some great music provided by one of Northeastern Pennsylvania's premier cover bands, Ostrich Hat. You must be 21 to enter, and tickets are available the day of the festival or in advance at hazeltonrotary.ticketleap.com. Don't miss the Hazleton Wine and Beer Festival, Saturday, August 15th. If you haven't found the perfect fishing getaway, you haven't been to Captain's Cove. Located on Henderson Harbor in upstate New York, Captain's Cove offers a variety of accommodations to please just about anyone. The motel, also located on the harbor, offers a magnificent view. Enjoy free morning coffee, air-conditioned rooms, cable TV, and HBO. The cottage can accommodate up to eight people with three bedrooms, a complete kitchen, washer-dryer, two full baths, air conditioning, an outside grill, and picnic table. Call us today for rates and information at 1-800-824-FISH. Join us this week on Let's Talk Chiropractic. We will be visited by some patients that you met on a previous show. Jeanette and her husband Greg is with her. She's going to tell you about her tremendous success story from tragedy to perseverance to triumph through chiropractic care. Their story this week. Join us. No real relief at all from the heat across northeastern PA. No rain to talk about, but as we go into tomorrow, that's when things are going to change. Some showers, a couple of thunderstorms will be coming into our area. So today's the last of the extreme heat and humidity. Tomorrow, though, still going to be very warm. Not quite as warm. And then after that, a little bit more refreshing air, but still very warm temperatures. But these are very hot. We got temperatures still in the 90s in many areas. Elsewhere temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. And notice there's just really nothing across the Northeast, any relief from that heat. But that's going to change as a front moves through, triggering some of those showers, maybe the possibility of a thunderstorm going into tomorrow. And then after that, it does look nice, a string of some nice looking days heading in our direction for Friday and Saturday and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and even Wednesday, not bad. Maybe a shower or storm, but that's pretty much about it. That's Hopefully it. you're enjoying the heat and humidity. I'm not a big fan of Kind of, of uncomfortable, it. but uh, hey, it is summer. Yeah, it is summer and I guess with Irish skin it doesn't really work out. <laughs> It's not a good you mix. said it. No, it's really not. <laughs> no. It's really not. And I no. think, uh, Joe, you can attest to it, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go a little bit Sorry, more tanner, we'll but just, that's all right. We'll yeah. just stay away from, from, from Eric. We, yeah, that's... What can you do? Nah, what can you do? I kind of wait for the cloud coverage, I guess. So tomorrow might be a relief, though, because as you can see, there's plenty of plants out there, and they and the grass all need water. So we'll hopefully sure. get some of that. Have a good night, everyone. Which, by the way?